What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV here. Spurs have won 5-2 at Turf Moor in what was an incredible game of football with loads of, again, brilliant Ange ball on display. It was looking hairy in the early parts of the game with um, Burnley going 1-0 up through Foster inside four minutes, and Tottenham looked all at sea um, for the first 10 or 15 minutes. But to be fair to them, we took we re we took control of the game. It was 1-1 within 20 minutes, 2-1 before half time, and the second half was as a percent session of brilliant fall from Spurs. Human Song at his clinical best, showing what a striker can do in the number nine in this system and getting a hat-trick on the day. And there were some top outstanding performances from the likes of Madison Udogi and some more brilliant football from uh, from Ange Ball. Yet again, Postacoglu um, now got 10 points out of 12 in the first four games. We're going mm. to the international break in really good spirits. We really needed that kind of performance mm. after an underwhelming deadline day as well. I'm here with Brains and Sai. Guys, what did you make of that performance? I thought it was great. I mean, yeah, there was some not so... We, we do show our vulnerabilities, but the way we attacked today, once we once we got on the front foot, once we like got comfortable in the ball, once pl like every player started to cook, there was a little moment like just before... Whose goal was it? Was it... Yeah, I think it was like Son's... Uh, I don't know if, no, was the... The Son, fourth one. Son's second one. Yeah. yeah where like there's about 20 watch that goal again there's about 20 passes mm -hmm. and everyone is like doing one touch football and the, just the 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 expression on all their faces that they're balling they're having yeah. a laugh you know then they break the line son wants the ball in the right place Poro has the ability to do it gives it to him and then we're just from that point we're just floating like i for the biggest takeaway for me is that human song starts as a number 9 yep. and gets a hat trick yeah we see in this one game, we get to see him go off. Then I think I would be raging if I was him. I think he probably could have got four or five goals. Richie comes on, and it's bad touch offside after offside. So for me, it's been answered, and it's mm -hmm. not debatable. I don't want to, I don't, I honestly think Richie sell in January. And if you want to bring a, a, a striker in, fine, but it's 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 done for me 100%. Mm. It's a great, it's a great performance from the team. But these are the biggest things that I've taken away from it. Yeah, Sai, for you, um, human son now getting that hat trick. Obviously, we know he can play in this position, yeah. but it was just more, it wasn't even just the finishing, which obviously the finishing is a massive part. But I felt like his all round game yeah. like was just so much more full of quality than what we yeah. see from Richarlison. And a lot of people saying, you know, how long does Postacoglu give it with Richarlison in terms of keeping up these performances? And he scored in midweek, so you would have thought maybe he would give him another opportunity. But do you reckon this is a very good indication, this kind of game, of where Postacoglu's head is at with the situation? Yeah, I think so. I think. Uh, the the great thing is that some answers have been ma made from from Son's positioning now because I think a lot of fans have said it for a long time. I I I have said it as well, in the sense that I I just don't like Son on that left. I think maybe a few years back in in slightly younger years, it, it suited him for sure. But as he's progressed as a player, and you know, bear in mind he's I think he's thirty now. Um, you know, it's it's that responsibility, the the ability that he has in that middle. We know he can do it, yeah. and the goals just show for himself. I think even in his top scoring season, the the other year was was mainly through that middle position. Yeah. And I, I, I I'm I'm with Gavin. I think like it's going to be very difficult now for Richardson to come back in this team. Uh, Johnson's now here as well, so you know that switch around yeah. of Solomon and Johnson on that left side is almost like right. How can you take? You can't take Son out out of the team now. Um, because it's answered everything we knew anyway, and it's yep. proven, okay, there are better, no disrespect to Bernie, there are better teams for us to play and how some will be be in those in those areas. But um, for me, it's, it's, it's ticked that box now, isn't it? And it's, you know, Andrew's got to be sitting there, you know, massively chuffed with, with those decisions as well. And look, the last point we'll touch on Son because we'll move on to other players, but mm. if you look at what, what we fit, what I think anyway, Son's biggest attributes have been, especially in the last couple of years, I just don't think it is taking people on and creating no. chances. Yeah. And I look, do I think he can do it? Yes. Do I think he can do it to an elite level? I just mm. don't. What is his biggest, um, um, his biggest attribute is his finishing ability. Yeah. It always mm. has been. He's a world-class finisher, one of the best finishers in Europe, in my opinion. He, the way he oh, overperforms yeah. his um, expected goals is like, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. It's Worldly. And we saw that again today. And he still has enough pace to run in behind and yep. test defenders yep. in behind. And when he gets in those positions, he is clinical. Mm, yeah. And we and that hat trick was an absolute um, um, evidence of that. Yep. It was a brilliant hat trick. Again, three clinical finishes from him. Yep. Brilliant running in behind. Expert performance from him. 
Uh, Manuel Solomon, big, big game for him today because we signed Brennan Johnson on deadline yeah. day. There's going to be limited game time when it comes to being on the wings if he thought he was going to play on the right. He got a big, um, he got a, a big um, selection today on the left-hand side, which is a natural position. And I thought he repaid Ange Postecoglou's mm -hmm. faith. He got two assists, really solid performance. Look, still, I would like him to take on his man a bit more, but I can't complain after a really creative performance. I thought there were more moments in there as well, not just from the assist where he looked impressive. So what did you make out of Manuel Solomon's um, performance today? When it was all said and done, I thought the player who should be more nervous by Johnson coming was Kulu. Like, because I, mm. I thought by the end of it, Solomon's got two assists. Like, what can you, you can't ask for more, you know? Like, some yeah, obviously he's coming into an established team he's fighting for his position so he had way more stress on him so that's going to make you not make the right decisions but from the point where he put sun in beautifully and then he did it again then you're seeing like a partnership could happen there so then you do you really want to break that partnership up you know whereas on the other side kulu's like cutting back everyone knows he's cutting back mm -hmm. he doesn't go to the line enough he becomes predictable after a while he's soft with his touches he doesn't really make the right runs at times so i thought the second half didn't do well for for kulu i thought manor solomon came out of that the better player so if i was kulu and that's what you want you want competition places, you know? yeah. so and also you look at that front line with solomon son and kulusevsky if you're looking at like not to say you need it but if you're looking at who's the one lacking real like pace on on, on the ball it is Kulisevsky and Solomon and Sodden was showing that today that ability to to burst into the space and use it effectively yeah. Kulisevsky I'm, I don't even think he had a bad game but no. when you're comparing him to Son and Solomon he was just he was lacking uh, behind and then when you've got one of the fastest players coming into into the team who does play on the right Kulu has to start being that because if he doesn't have that final third output yes he can contribute to the team I'm not saying he doesn't but he's not that threat in behind he yeah. can be nullified with um uh, with his mm. pace because he doesn't have as much pace as the other players so definitely something for him to watch out for but yeah, yeah i'm really happy with manuel solomon i thought he had a really top performance i'm so happy for him because i was questioning the point of this signing on deadline day why do we bring him in if we didn't rate him ahead of perisic well he was mm. picked ahead of perisic today and he and he got to assist so i'm very happy for him yeah. um james madison hmm. another unbelievable Unbelievable performance wow. again. He's really just, it's, he's getting better week and um, within every week. I think it's probably his best performance yet. So creative. But finally, we saw him bury one of those long range shots, oh, which we've been waiting for. What a goal. Oh, just, it's like, it was very Kane esque as well. Mm. But it's like, this is what you want from a composed striker of the ball is that when you get the ball, they. They do this thing which is just like ball at feet. As soon as you feel the ball, you're comfortable at your feet. And then that's about how quick you can be comfortable. Then you look up, you see where your goalkeeper is. He sees the goalkeeper is coming across. He's two one side. So he goes for the other. And it's just that like it's such a slow process if you're not in good form. Mm -hmm. For him, it's like... Bam, 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 bam. Bam. And you, when you get to that position, like he hasn't had too many opportunities in the first three games to have time in that kind of position mm -hmm. to get a shot off. And he had a lot of time for the goal. But you just know if he's in that position and you give him time to shoot, he's going to find that corner. And he proved that again today. Yeah, I think that's it. I think from he, I was always infuriated with Madison before coming to Tottenham because he was so good at Leicester. And I, I, I wasn't expecting him to fit in so well and so quick. Yeah. at Spurs and it's literally almost like he's been there for years um you know the resemblance with um or sorry the the way he is with the fans has just clicked instantly the players everything everything about him um his tenacity in the game is really important as mm -hmm. well to to mention because um he, he's very on point with telling players where they should be or yeah. they're not doing this they're not doing that and we've missed a lot of that and exactly what you said Gavin earlier is like there's leaders all over that pitch yeah. and, and Madison's really just put himself right right at the top of that list um, and it's absolutely incredible and to see him start hitting those goals that we know he can do as well yeah. it, it's just incredible I just I just hope that he has a good international break doesn't get injured um, but yeah we, we might have to manage him at some point throughout the season in terms of the you know the injuries and stuff so keep that clean he's he's going to be probably the best buy of the summer I reckon did he did he even lose the did he mess up once I, mean, I, I can't remember I too many so. opportunities. Just, Loved too many times. Get the ball in tight spaces. He'll come deep. Yeah. You know, like, it's just, I'm mm. um, really, I can't actually believe how good of set saying he's turned out to be. It's can't phenomenal. Because yeah. he's not Phillips only, because he, he's not just a creative, he's so good creatively, but he's not just yeah. a creative threat. He's a goal threat as well. And that's two and two for yeah. him as well. And an expert finish from him. That goal, 
itself was assisted by Destin Udogi, who had put in another mm. top, top performance on that left-hand side. He is yeah. so strong on the ball, isn't he? He does, like He's such a good dribbler, but he doesn't even need skills to get past people. He just bullies them. He just yeah. brazes past them with his strength yeah. and his pace. And another uh, uh, um, performance for him, well, I think he barely put a foot wrong. Yeah. And at 20 years of age, he hasn't had a bad game for Sartre Mazzi in the first four games. It's been an outstanding start. And I thought, again, this carried it on. Yeah. 97th minute, he's like... Still going, isn't he? everyone. Down the line. It's incredible. It's like, Absolutely mental. Well, just to, to th when you watch that side, we have genuinely no problems that side. It's kind of kind yeah. of it's incredible it's now, isn't it? Because yeah. you've got like a ball player in VDV, and then mm. you've got him, and they kind of just work very quick, yeah. like well off each other, you know. And the con there's confidence as well, isn't there? There's just massive confidence between yeah. all of them, just to know exactly where each other are. I think that interesting point about Solomon earlier. First, those. 10 15 minutes where he's not passing it or, or whatever he's supposed to be doing wasn't mm. doing it and it's almost like he had a lack of confidence in the team around him and, and it shouldn't be that because they are such you know good players and yeah. be way better than the seasons before it yeah once that clicks in solomon's head to be like i can actually go and dribble and not worry that if i lose it and i was there every single player i think we counted on it a few times today is like if we lost the ball there was someone there every single time and we haven't yeah. seen that for years and that's absolutely massive and Udogi is absolutely incredible at doing that just mm. being at the right place at the right time the power the strength the pace uh we haven't even seen the best of him like, i was i was so annoyed when he got sent back uh when we purchased them because I, I thought i'm not saying it would change conte's uh um remit there but it's, it's it was that kind of player that we really needed last year yeah. especially on that side and i'm just glad that this season we've got everyone that is supposed to be there and playing and he, mm. he's just he's just hit it running hasn't he yeah. incredible incredible and uh pedro porro as well for two of the goals i thought he mm. was absolutely outstanding for the first goal with a brilliant running behind to son and also um i think it was for son's hat trick goal a beautiful yeah. through ball and that is the quality he brings um, on the ball with his passing ability and it's why at the moment even though emerson started the first game of the season we're seeing for our own eyes why postal cockley is preferring par right now even though a lot of the fans had question marks about para why why we're picking him there and they're worried about him well i think he's made a lot of fans look stupid with some of his performances and again today yeah and you know like he's got like a lot of passion when he plays so when mm. emerson came on i thought he was a little bit casual on the ball i thought it was a little bit like head in the clouds it's a bit of a joker of a lad you know and um, and i think even just seeing that few minutes of him on you know th where'd the goal come yeah. from down that side you know like tackles not really strong you know when when he was there and Paro was well, then pushed up further so i just genuinely thought like um there was a few sometimes we could be really harsh on defenders as well yeah. so that first goal like you have to also account for the guy has lightning pace mm. and it can't just be a goal a, a defender's problem every time when a guy gets in like that yeah. you know and um, he actually did get back in time it wasn't about pace you know the guy was had strength and he did a, a decent yeah. thing so sometimes you have to like congratulate the the, the attackers rather than you mm. know like they had a three three or four moments in the entire <laughs> game today where they actually attacked really well you know that and and i, and I think we have to also think about players like um Vicario, like unbelievable the save that he made when they got through the, on the, uh, that apparently there's a problem with the mic so if you yeah, just talk into that i guess yeah the save Vicario made was just i thought i thought you know that that game you could look at that game and be like oh five um five two you know like i don't think that's you know that doesn't really reflect on Vicario. you know mm -hmm. like they've scored some very good goals in those you know for those goals but i think as a I'm I'm actually really happy with what we got as a goalkeeper, you know. Yeah, yeah, me uh, me too. Uh, I think Vicario had another really strong showing. Um, but I guess look, overall, another really really positive performance and another some more beautiful football yet again. Yeah. Um, and and also we, we were asked maybe different questions today than we have in the previous games in terms of going behind early and regrouping and making sure we don't yeah. lose our heads. And I think we all answered those questions perfect perfectly. Uh, you know, going second half two one up, um, but you knew Bernie were going to come on to us, and I think we exploited those situations expertly with um, transitions and runs in behind and brilliant passes. And look after a, a um a fairly underwhelming 
deadline day yesterday and a lot of fans are feeling a bit deflated and also going out the cup on Tuesday I think it was badly needed this win to be honest and especially in the manner of the win as well which is a uh, pun the pun but, uh, uh, but, but I think the, the way we played again uh, we just needed to remind everyone that we are onto a good thing yeah. and just doing a very good job and despite um, everything not being perfect you just got to enjoy the ride right now because the football we are playing is sensational uh, makes such a difference having a proper number nine in there as well as much as I'm backing Richarlison you got to say just having Son in there yeah. was fantastic yeah. and look I'm just so excited I'm gutted we have an international break coming up yeah. now because yeah. I just want to see more Tottenham right now yeah yeah, unbelievable. So look, guys, appreciate everyone in the chat. We've still got 4,900 people watching right now. So big up to everyone watching uh, the live stream today. Thank you to Cy and Brains for joining me for the live watch along. Uh, we're going to have the post-match fan show coming up very, very shortly. So stay tuned for that. We're also going to have Angie's press conference come in um, soon as well. So big up to everyone for watching the stream. Join us very shortly for the post-match fan show. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come, come on, you Spurs. Spurs.